If you're a non-farmer, you may be talking to your farm friends or listening to us here on Ag PhD talk about the word lodging. Well, today we want to explain what is lodging and how does it happen during our Farm Basics time. Well, it certainly doesn't mean a hotel room and where you're going to stay for the weekend. What we're talking about is plants that will fall over in a field. Sometimes they'll get back up, but whenever plants fall over, that's not a good thing. We don't want to see that out there, whether it's a corn crop or a wheat crop or, or whatever. We want those plants to stand. So there's a number of things that could come into play here that we can do as farmers to influence standability in our crops. All right, first of all, I think commonly about nutrients. By far and away, the number one nutrient you need to have that crop standing well is potassium. And what we're usually looking for is two things. It's parts per million and it's percent base saturation. So in other words, what's the ratio? The base saturation is the ratio of potassium to some of the other nutrients. We would like in the range of 4% to 8% base saturation potassium, but then we also have to have enough parts per million or pounds per acre to raise a really good crop. And that all depends on your crop, you can just go to the Ag PhD Fertilizer Removal app to see how much your crop needs. Before we leave that nutrient discussion, I want to add a couple more to that list. Copper and manganese. These two micronutrients are really important to the rigidity of that stock. So we want to see those nutrients at good levels as well. And then the other thing that we want to avoid is over application of nitrogen. Now this is one that, that farmers get criticized for a little bit if there's any level of nitrate in the water. But nitrate's naturally going to be in water. We're going to see that happen whether farmers are applying it to their fields or not. Farmers have to spend money to put nitrogen on fields. We encourage farmers, don't waste any money, don't spend too much money on nitrogen and keep that in balance as well. The next thing I look at is you've got to have a good root system. So as a farmer, we want to reduce compaction as much as possible and have good drainage below ground. Well, that's a big one. And this year we saw a lot of farmers with wet soil conditions. It was tough to get things planted. And we saw some compaction created out there that's going to limit the root growth. So we'll likely see some more lodging this year than what we see on a normal year. All right, here's the next thing. A lot of farmers, when they get a big wind event and the crop tips over, they immediately go to, well, this variety stood well, this variety did not stand well. It's the fault of the variety. Look, the variety has something to do with it, but that's not the number one factor. Way above and beyond that is everything else we've talked about. It's fertility, it's the drainage, it's compaction in the soil and how deep the farmer planted that seed in the beginning. So there are all these other things that are even more important, but yes, variety can make a difference. Well, the, the other thing I'd mention here too is crops like soybeans, for example, get kind of a bad name when you look at fields late in the season when they're filled with pods, their leaves are huge, and you get a big rainfall event and you've got everything drooping out there. Well, the question is, is, is this lodging or is this just, hey, the plants are drooping until they drop their leaves off and then the branches come back up. So many times, uh, even after a wind event, we'll tell farmers, hey, don't get too excited yet. Let's just see what happens the next few days, the next couple of weeks. If that crop picks itself back up, it won't be a problem for the farmer to harvest and they won't lose any yield. Another thing that's important if the farmer doesn't want to lose yield is having great weed control, like stopping our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to do it on your farm coming up later in the show.